Hey there, puzzlers! My name is Fleb, and today I'm going to be covering a wonderful disassembly puzzle from Hanayama, the Cast Elk. This is a two-piece disassembly puzzle, where the objective is to separate the two halves of the puzzle. Currently, they're interlinked together, and any way you might try to take them off, something is blocking it from being taken off. According to Nab Yoshigahara, the legendary puzzle designer, the cast elk was based on a design from the puzzle boom in the late 1800s. And while puzzles like this often appear simple, it's actually quite difficult. I've often said that getting good at solving puzzles is more about experience than anything else. And so today, I'm also going to be covering the classic bent nail puzzle. The object of this puzzle is the same as the cast elk. You want to separate the two pieces and then put them back together. It's a very old puzzle. After solving the bent nail puzzle, we'll have a better idea of how to tackle the cast elk, which has a beautiful solution. As a quick note before we begin, I'm currently running a Kickstarter campaign for a book of original puzzles, which is linked in the description below. Any amount helps, so please consider supporting the campaign. Without further ado, let's get solving. In order to solve this puzzle, we're going to start by solving the simpler version the bent nail puzzle. I've given this puzzle to a number of people to try to solve, and the first thing they always try to do is take it off symmetrically, which is exactly the right idea. But as you can see, it doesn't work. There's something else that you need to do. The symmetry of the puzzle is important, but what's also important is that this large piece here has to get past this piece. So rather than trying to take it off symmetrically this way, if we instead try to pass the big piece, pass the one that's blocking it, we can take the nails apart. Let's see that from another angle. The head of the nail is placed past the other one, and the pieces are able to come apart. So the main idea behind this puzzle is not only do you have to take it off symmetrically, but you have to move pieces past the pieces that are blocking them. Simply trying to take it off symmetrically from the start doesn't work. Let's see if we can apply those same ideas to the cast elk. When looking at the cast elk puzzle, we know that we want to make a similar sort of symmetric move. Here, instead of the heads of the nails, we have these large metal pieces on the end, which are blocking each other from moving in certain ways. And so you can try different symmetrical moves until you hit upon the right one. If we think about how you might move this piece, past the piece with the elk's head on it. You might try moving it underneath like this. If you look at that, there's now a nice symmetry as you try to move it. Here, the small gaps are too small to fit past the large pieces, so we need to give it another rotation like this. And when you do that, the piece is now in a good place to take it off. Remember, before we were in this situation, where this tag with the NOB on it is in the center here. But by doing this symmetric move, it's now on the outside. Now we're in this situation where we have to move these large metal pieces past each other. In order to do that, we can use a very similar move to what was done in the bent nail puzzle. Much like we had to move those heads back past each other, here if we offset it a little bit and move this head past, we can rotate the piece straight off the puzzle. And there you have it. To put the puzzle back together, you reverse the steps. First moving those large pieces past each other, so that you're in this situation, and then reversing that symmetrical move that we did before. There's an aspect of this puzzle that I haven't talked about yet, which makes the puzzle more difficult. And that is that this symmetric move that you do as your first move only works on this side of the puzzle. If you were to try the same thing on the other side of the puzzle, like here, doing that same sort of symmetrical move will not work. And the reason for that is that these pieces are not actually identical. And they're not actually symmetrical. They're awfully close. But they're just enough different so that it only works on one part of the puzzle. Personally, I don't really like that aspect of the puzzle. I think it adds artificial difficulty without actually adding anything to the solve path. 
but it's something that you have to watch out for if you're trying to solve this on your own. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and as always, happy puzzling.